This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Thursday, November 28, 2013. I'm Don Paris. Government is fast-tracking the Fairtel Street redevelopment project to save the bus terminal, which is sinking into the nearby waterway. Agriculture Minister Dr. David Estwick says the committee overseeing the project has already met twice and will soon take a proposal to Cabinet for approval. The redevelopment includes an integrated bus terminal for public and private sector vehicles, shops and a new public market. And construction of the multi-purpose sugar factory will begin early next year. Minister Estwick says government will sign a $200 million agreement with the Japanese Bank for International Cooperation next month. The facility will make value-added products rather than traditional sweeteners. The minister says moving in this direction is the right decision and will prevent 2,500 workers from going on the red line. He says the country will also save $35 million in foreign exchange. And the Ministry of Culture is looking to Rihanna for more help. Minister Stephen Lashley wants the international pop star to work more closely with the ministry to develop the local cultural industry. Rihanna is a legend and I'm anxious to work with her in ensuring that our cultural development uh, can move in a direction where we have other persons who aspire to, to be a uh, icons in their own right, that they can have the opportunities to move in that direction. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. In Jamaica, two senior public servants will be hauled before the court today on corruption charges. But officials say it's a drop in the bucket. The Commission for the Prevention of Corruption has to investigate 322 others who are being suspected of being in breach of the law. The two public servants have not been identified, but one is said to be employed at the Ministry of Transport, Works and Housing, and the other a senior customs officer. Internationally now, Thailand's Prime Minister survives a no-confidence vote in Parliament, but that hasn't stopped throngs of protesters from continuing their protest against her. Even after the 297 to 134 vote, demonstrations swelled in Bangkok. The Prime Minister has urged the protesters to end their demonstrations. She says their rallies could hurt the economy. And that's our noon update. Join us again at 6 this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,